got a premonition I'm dreaming you and I'm on the darkest fears are coming outside we got a billion races we got his melody Hi, Hi guys. guys, hope you're all doing great. If you're new here, it's your boy Brian Booker and your girl Melanie V. And this is a new video. If you haven't subscribed, this is the time. This is the yeah. time, man. <laughs> guys, we are glad we're back with a new video. Yeah, yeah, today is a weekend and we're just having a good time. Hope you guys are also having a good time. It's actually on, on Saturday, uh, yes. Yeah. So we're just we're just chilled mm -hmm. in the kitchen. Yes. You guys already know if you are in the kitchen, <laughs> definitely it's all about cooking. If you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and first of all, I've been begging this guy to cook for me some fish. So that's what we are cooking. I've been begging him the whole week. Uh, guys, it's just uh, I've just been busy a bit, you know. Hey. I'm not uh, found time, busy but body. today, today <laughs> the weekend, so it's a chilling day, and that's why I want to just do this. Yes, uh, fish is one of uh, my base favorite foods. Yeah. Yes. I love uh, fish. Since she, and pork. since she met me. Please. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you you, ha you actually cook so well. His cooking is so nice. And uh, you can imagine the audacity. Um, where I cook so well and she pranks, starts to prank me that I don't know how to cook, you know? Seriously? The audacity. But then people, you know, people came to my inbox asking, is it true that brand Booker doesn't know how to cook? And I was like, no, it's just a prank. Man. He's a good cook. Yeah. Yeah. So please subscribe to his channel, by the way. Don't just watch. Yeah. Subscribe. Let's get him to 10K. Mm -hmm. So today we are in the kitchen, we want to cook, so let me show you guys what we have. First of all, let me look for a place to just leave you guys. Yeah, so this is how we are looking, chilled with some t-shirts. Yes. And you are having juice there. I'm just having some, some cold juice. And excuse my hair guys, I know it's bad, but <laughs> we are soon retouching it. <laughs> yes. So first of all, this is what you are cooking, some fish. Yeah, we have tomatoes, onions, and we have some kale, yes. skuma. Yeah, so this is what we are cooking. Yeah, so all this and ugali. And I'll not be doing anything, just so you know. <laughs> yes. He's the one who's going to cook, as yep. I just watch. I'm the health chef. Eh? Yeah. But imagine, guys, she wanted to cook uh, this, uh, this fish and rice. Ah, no. <laughs> Me don't do that here. <laughs> <laughs> like seriously, <laughs> but it's possible. Can you eat rice and fish? Yes. I feel like it doesn't but blend I, well. It just it, it doesn't blend well. Yo, I think the the you have just killed it. If you do that, you've it's crazy. It's crazy, but, yeah. But you can do it. You know, it's uh, it's everyone everyone. Every, yeah, you can you can do it. But for mm. me, I feel like it doesn't blend <laughs> well. <laughs> so he's lying, guys. He's lying. You mean you Yeah. Yes. So what are we going to do? Our cook for today. What are you supposed to be doing uh, the, first of all? The first thing I'll just chop the onions and um, the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll not be using any spices. Yeah, mm -hmm. for this. You just, just be cooking naturally. Just love my food naturally most of the time. Yeah. And uh, the, my only secret is um, plenty of onions. That's my secret because. Uh, so two is enough. Yeah, two, two is enough because this the, the fish is just. Uh, oh, that's. The tiny, tiny pieces. So, uh, so guys, this is actually our lunch. So it's right now. It's actually twelve. Mm -hmm. He's been dragging. You're supposed to start cooking around eleven, but he's been dragging. I don't know why. And then he's also supposed to go for a shoot in the afternoon. So we are supposed to just shoot this whole thing, have good lunch, and then he'll head out. Yes. So I think let's go on to it, man. Let's do this. Okay, so let's watch as he cooks because for me, I'll not be doing anything. Work to you now. The chef. Yes. So what are you doing? Just washing these uh, tomatoes first. Okay. Yes, before we continue with everything. So you're supposed to first of all chop the onions. Oh, this is the part I hate. I hate this part honestly and... Oh my god, I don't think I'll stand here for long. <laughs> <laughs> the pain. Uh, so he's cooking as I slowly enjoy some juice. <laughs> Your juice, oh actually. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Man, I don't even have juice in peace. <laughs> yes. 
But it's okay. It's allowed. It's allowed. It's allowed. If you but know. but your cooking is so nice. If 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 it was possible, I would hire you as my chef. Please hire me. Because mm-hmm. I am not that. Um, I'm just affordable. Yes, affordable. Yes, you can afford me. Hey, uh, <laughs> but but you cook well. I think I personally I love your um pork. How you cook your pork is so nice. Omena, mm-hmm. your fish. That is why I was begging you. I really wanted to eat fish, and I was really begging him. No, for example, let me tell you one thing. If you are uh, from my tribe, and you don't know how to cook fish or maybe omena. Then, it's a problem. You are not a river lake dialogue. <laughs> just change. you are from the city. You are from the city. <laughs> just, just please, you can you can loan you to another tribe <laughs> for free. <laughs> yeah, so for, anyway, mm-hmm. um, funny thing, guys, I didn't know how to cook fish. By the way, I didn't like I'm sitting in a ringa. By the way, for real, I didn't know how to cook fish. So he showed me a very simple way to cook fish. And nowadays I do cook fish, by the way, but I feel like mine does not taste that good like his, you know. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yours is so nice. It's just because you are comparing, you know. Or maybe it's I just uh, don't like my own cooking. Yes, you just like to be spoiled. Hey, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, I prefer somebody else's cooking. I feel like I eat somebody else's food, but if I cook by myself, I end up eating very little. It's not a, it's not a bad thing though, you know. Mm. It's, it's, it, can, it can be a technique of losing weight. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! No gym needed. Uh, no gym needed. No, you don't spend any money, you know. You will um, just be automatic. You don't eat too ma- much. But the guy, there's just a way he cuts his onions. Differently from how I do it. <laughs> I don't know how you're doing yours, but it's so unique. But you know, everybody has his own style. Yeah, true. Like, um, it depends on who taught you and a lot of things. And maybe a lot of things. Yeah. Personally, I usually know um, how people cook and cut their onions and tomatoes. It's just how you grew up. Like, if you have your mom, guide, guardian, or anyone but who you, taught you how to cook, but that's you, how you will cook. You know, the funny thing mm-hmm. is that um, my mom, my mom cuts uh, uh, the onions uh, circular, you know? That's her style, you know? Actually, that's... And, uh, but my onions, I don't cut circular. I divide into two, and then cut, like, zikiwa ivokuwa, like, I don't know how to explain. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I feel like the onions have already started um, doing their thing, yes. <laughs> and I don't like it. So I think I'll excuse myself for a minute, and then we'll, we'll catch up with you guys. This this is natural tear gas. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I've cooked all my life since I was born. Guys, I started cooking when I was so young. My mom used to teach us how to cook, and. I've never gotten used to onions. Like I usually cry every time. How every young were you when you started? I don't remember, but I was very young. I think that's why. Because you have done it for too. You have you have you have, uh, you have been cooking for too long. <laughs> but I think when you cook for too long, you're supposed to get used to it. Uh, this thing is so. I've good. never gotten used to it. Hmm? No, there are things you can't get used to. You know. I mean, I was even considering buying some glasses. To wear while cutting onions because every time I have to cry, I have to take like 20 minutes just to like, like just wipe my tears and you know give myself time so that the the whatever that is in the onions is like it guys if you guys get me I don't know if anyone of you out there who suffers um, or has the same issue as me please comment down below I give me tips what do you guys do it's um I think everybody just experiences it. It just depends the, the how mature the onion are. And also the level because of how you there are, there are some onions which don't, you, you just cut and don't feel anything. And that is a bad sign for me as a chef. It's not good onions. It's, it's just, uh, I feel it's, uh, maybe it's, it's, it's not that good quality, you know. Okay. Yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. If you know, you know. You're asking for um, ideas and suggestions. Ideas of what people do. 
I think for me, I think what you should do is you should just buy a helmet. <laughs> for that. <laughs> I was thinking of buying sunglasses. <laughs> I know it's for the sun, but they'll definitely help me here in the kitchen. Guys, I'm out of here. It's really, really bad. So guys, um, I've already chopped the onions, you can see, yes, and um, the tomatoes, I'm ready to do this, man, I'm ready to do this. So guys, we are now here, finally, the cooking process. Yes. So you just, first of all, place your onions. Why have you left some onions? Yes, I've just, uh, I see this is enough. Okay. So I've just left this, um, I'll use this to fry my Oh, you are killed. Yes. Okay. You know. So I can't wait, guys. Oh, I'm so hungry. They can just imagine the fish in my mouth. Anyway, if you're watching this and you're hungry, just go eat. We are sorry. So you add um, cooking oil. Okay, just, that's just enough. So you don't overdo it. That's um, Brian Booker's recipe. Yes, that's my <laughs> secret family recipe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're waiting. I can't wait to see how it will turn out. I hope it will turn out as good as it always does. Yeah. You know me, man. You know me. You know what I'm capable of, you know? Okay, okay. <laughs> so, don't worry. Everything will be perfect. perfect. Yes. Mm. Now some people will be telling me, oh, Grand Booker, why are you not using some wort, some spices and everything? Actually, he doesn't like spices, honestly. Uh, he doesn't like, apart from even liking, it affects him. Um, I have a very sensitive stomach. Yeah, he has so a very sensitive stomach. I, I always uh, keen on what I eat, mostly, and so, what I use. Yeah. So even if I'm cooking for him personally, I usually don't use a lot of spices. He won't eat <laughs> because he has a very sensitive stomach, and yeah, you know, you know, you know what happens. <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> you know, you know. Yeah. Aye. I can't yes. wait for this. Now we are on the process, man. The lighting is so bad on this side. Yes. So long as you can see us. That is what is important, yeah? It's what is in, it's important. <laughs> yeah, so how long will you stay? Maybe roughly 10 minutes? For the? Like the whole process. To cook the fish. Cook the fish. Yeah. Yeah, fish, yeah. Maybe... 10 to 15. Yeah, 15 minutes. Stop. Stop. So let's wait for that. Also, guys, please inform us if we should be doing cooking videos. Because... L let me tell you, he cooks really well. Like, most of the dishes I know how to cook nowadays, yeah. <laughs> it's because of him. Like, omena, I never used to know how to cook that. Fish, even pork. I used to cook pork, but I didn't know how to cook it well. In fact, she used to love, she used to hate omena so much. Actually, I never used to eat omena. It's because of him nowadays. Like, it's not that bad, by the way. It's just how you do things. I don't know. But if you're not eating omena, please try. It's not that bad. <laughs> so um, most of the dishes I cook nowadays, he taught me. Yeah, he's actually doing a good job. So let's wait and see how his food will, will turn out. I will definitely test for you guys. So don't worry, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> yeah. So comment down below and subscribe also as you watch. We also enjoy some ice pop here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like a baby doing this, man. Like a like a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe um, five, four years, five, five years. Actually, like yeah, four, five. Mm. Yeah. So I feel, I feel, I feel like I'm so hungry right now because I can already feel the smell. But let's wait and see. So we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So it's now golden brown, as you can see. So he'll add tomatoes. What I always do, I just like uh, putting some salt on my tomatoes. tomatoes for it to, what do you call it? Huh? To, to build the... To soften. Yeah, basically to, it's like smudging. Yeah. So I just soften very fast. 
get the juice out of the tomato. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you know, also I don't like, uh, you know, sometimes when you can get some food and then you see tomato floating. Yeah, ah, it doesn't, it doesn't look good. It yeah. should, it should actually blend in the food. Yeah. I think that's why most Nigerians and Ghanaians usually blend their tomatoes. They usually blend, like literally blend. Yeah. And I feel that's why their food usually have have that strong color. Yeah, but if you don't have a blender, what you can do, and that secret is, uh, you can uh, dip them in boiled water. Boiled water. Yeah, hot water. Yeah, yeah. and then just peel off the the cover. The cover. Just like how I cook my pilau. Then you can just use them. Like use that. the pestle and mortar and just smash them. Yeah. Oh, it looks nice already. Mm. So for somebody who doesn't know how to cook fish, this this, this is the first step. And then what else are you supposed to do after this? After this, I'll pour some water, some water here first. Uh huh. Put my fish. So yeah. from. Um, some uh, cold water. Yeah, and then I pour some cold water and then it uh, make uh, leave it to boil for not boil just to be warm for like a minute or two. Yeah, and then add your fish and then let it simmer for a while. Yeah, don't don't put your fish on, in cold water. Oh yeah, guys, that's the thing. I think that's one of the mistakes most people do. Yeah. Don't put your fish in cold water when you. Pour water in here, leave it to boil for some yeah. minutes, maybe you know, two minutes. You know some people put fish here first and then they send they put water. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a mistake. That, uh, for me it's a mistake. Because um, you might spoil your fish, you know. Yeah. yeah. And the way it's usually, like most people love eating fish as a whole. When it has everything, <laughs> it's in shape. <laughs> so you might smudge yeah, you your might, fish. Your piece, uh, fish will be in pieces. In, in, in pieces. Your fish will be in pieces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just following me around. That um, the, the accent, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. You feel at home. I feel at home now. <laughs> I don't know. It's because of the fish. Oh wow. I'm not sure. So some cold water. And um, I, I forgot to ask, mm -hmm. what is the amount of water somebody should place? So it depends with your fish, it depends with water. Yeah, it depends on the size of fish, it depends on the amount of soup you want. I feel like this soup is little, maybe mm -hmm. you should add a bit. You know, what do you think guys? The other thing is the fish don't, don't even need to, to boil, to cook, per se, you know. Mm. It's just... Um, uh, the main reason why I put this uh, this amount of water okay. is just because it is just before a few minutes, not uh, for like two minutes. Yes, but I can add some water for you. <laughs> you know, you like the tofu. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I just love soup. Um, when I'm taking, I don't like soup that much. Mm -hmm. But it also depends with the amount of fish you're cooking. I love soup in my um, beans, in yeah. my I don't like soup in beef, in pork. I don't like soup. I okay, like it pork, dry. Soup. Yeah, some people do play soup. Hey man, you're killing pork, man. If you do that, <laughs> Aish. It, 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 you can also, it's already a disaster. That's a hell of a disaster. Yeah. I'm surprised to hear that. <laughs> people cook differently, mm -hmm. and you might find somebody else enjoys. You know, pork has a lot of fats, you know. Mm -hmm. So when you, you don't, you should dry it. You should because dry it. Because the more it. you dry it, the more. Uh, the fats come drains, out, yeah, drain the fats, you know. So, when you just put soup on it, man, it's crazy. Ah, the water is already boiled, like I told okay. You. The water is boiled, mm -hmm. it looks looks nice. Then you just dip your fish. Ooh, I can already feel the taste, Some and then close it. Don't turn your fish, uh, don't turn. You're don't not supposed to turn. I used turn to turn my fish, I used to turn my fish, Drink. guys. You, that's another another way of uh, killing your fish, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the second or third way. Pieces, yeah. You, you, you might um, turn it the other way around and it breaks. Breaks. So. So we give it. We give it time. Hmm. So guys, this is our final um, whatever <laughs> final look. So we want to cook ugali right now. Yeah, and oh, you also want to cook um, vegetables first, hmm. then ugali. Which one are you starting with? What I'm starting with? Yeah. 
ugali or vegetables? I think I'll start with vegetables because you can warm your vegetables or warm your fish. But you can't. You can't warm your ugali. So. <laughs> the vegetables are ready. This this took less than a minute. <laughs> okay, five minutes top. Yeah. Yeah. So our chef is still having his ice pop <laughs> to energize him as he prepares to cook ugali here. Yes. So we are waiting. I'm so hungry. It's right now. It's what time is it? By the way, let me check. It's 1.30. Oh my goodness. Yeah, only. only. <laughs> There's a, no, don't worry, don't worry. You'll be eating in the next 10, 10, or, 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, let me wait. Yeah. We'll show you guys um, the final thing. Food is finally ready. This is um, fish and some vegetables. And it looks really nice. So guys, comment down below. On a scale of 1 to 10. What do we give um, Brand Booker? Personally, I give him a 10. <laughs> He's a good cook. And then we have Kachumbari, of course. Yeah, so we want to enjoy our food. Ugali is in here. So we want to now eat our food. Yes. He's already served. Here it is. Yeah. Looking you so good. You can see, man. So we don't think we'll vlog when we're eating. But I have to test so here's the food let me test it for you guys yes because the cook can't test his own food <laughs> so yeah so i have a piece of fish here some kelts and ugali let's do this let's do this <laughs> killing it yeah do i cry cry <laughs> cry it's all nice yeah, you know, man, thank you so much, you know, this is, uh, I love cooking so much, yeah, and that's my style, that's how I cook my fish, yeah, you can try it if you, this, if you use another dis different style, yes. This has made my day. It has made your day. This, my day is done. <laughs> your day is a dead deal. You know, I've forgotten to place kachumbari, so I just place there. Yeah. So, I'll just place my kachumbari and enjoy my meal. Yeah, for me, I just need some um, chili. Yeah, let me go look for some chili and enjoy my fish. Yeah. So you don't think we'll vlog when eating because yes, he needs to leave. So we need to eat really fast because he's going. Uh, yes, yeah. Uh, guys. You're going for a shoot. He's going for a shoot. So go follow Bugiwa Studios on Instagram. Uh, yes, do that. Uh, guys, uh, till next time, man. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Bye, guys. Bye. Got a premonition, I'm dreaming you and I On my darkest fears are coming outside